Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory unto the Most High God. Thank you for tuning in with me again. Thank you for giving us your name, Jesus. Because at the mention of that name, every knee must bow, every tongue must confess that, yes, Jesus is Lord. Father, I thank you, blessed Redeemer, whether there be dominion, powers, principalities, and powers. Oh, Lord, they will all pass away. Jehovah and that the kingdoms, oh, God, will pass away. But your name remain the same, blessed Father. I thank you, Jehovah and Shaddai, for giving us your name. I thank you, ancient of days, oh, Lord, for all that you have been doing in our lives. I bless your holy name, Jehovah and Shaddai. That. Even in this new month, blessed Father, King of glory, Lord, you will continue to show yourself strong in our lives. Thank you for the name that you have given unto us. Oh Lord, and oh my God, no wonder, oh Lord, your word says that from now on, I bear on me the mark of Christ Jesus. Let no man trouble me. Lord, I thank you for the name that you have given unto us. Blessed Father, for he that have you have everything. Thank you, dependable Father. Thank you, ancient of days, for in Jesus' mighty name. I have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory unto the Most High God. Thank you for tuning in with me again. You are welcome. 
to Jesus My Priority TV. It is the first Sunday of the month, the last month of the year. I want to appreciate God who has ushered us into this new month. It has been God all true. If not for, the, for God who has been with us, who has been with you, the enemy would have swallowed us quick. I want to appreciate him. He has kept us from January to this very moment that we have right now. I say may his name be glorified in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus that the remaining days of this year, we all end the praise for you and I in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you once again for tuning in with me. Beloved, in this video, I am going to talk about the experience I went through so many years ago. You know, in my last video, I talked about how we should all be careful, especially those that usually give their room out for rent. Parents that have children at home that usually rent their rooms out to strangers. I am talking out of experience because it is what I have experienced in the past. So this experience gave me an awareness that at the end of the day, I, dis I, I shut my door. What do I mean? I stopped putting strangers, stopped renting my room out to strangers because what is the amount of money that a stranger is going to give to me that worth more than the precious gift that God has given to me, my children? What is the amount of money that they are going to give to me that is worth more than what God has given to me? So we ought to be very, very careful because there are a lot of people out there they are doing the work of their father, the, the, the devil. The Bible says that he, come, he came, that is, he came to kill, to steal and destroy. In the book of John chapter 10, verse 10. This is his work. There is nothing good in him. So let us be very, very careful of uh, the kind of people we are dealing with. My experience happened in uh, 2009, yes. It all happened in year, year 2009. My first daughter was three years plus. Then I think I just, my, my, step, my second daughter was about a year plus then. You know, in those days, out of ignorance, you would rent an apartment. Then uh, you, you will rent out a room out of that apartment. So this was what we, most people do those days. But out of ignorance, we do not know that those things that we are doing is not right. It, it, has de it has destroyed a lot of families. It has destroyed a lot of families. So in this our apartment, we are having three bedroom flats. You know, then I have just two children. My first daughter, three years plus, and my second daughter, who was a year plus. Then in these three bedroom flats, you know, I gave one room to my 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 children, two guests. Then, then uh, we're having one room extra in the house. You know, we now have to you know look for someone that we 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 rent it out to. Then it happened one fateful day. One fateful day. This lady came to my house. It was someone that, you know, brought her to my house. If I could remember very well. Someone that knows me. So that, uh, you know, called me. Yes, I can remember now. One, a very close person to me called me and told me that this lady is looking for a, a room to rent. So the lady came to my house. When she came to my house, I brought her into my house. Then she was weeping. You know, if the devil wants to get at you, they know your weak point. They know how to get at you. This lady was weeping. You know, out of the empathy, the sympathy mind I have, she was saying that uh, where she's living, she said she was living in a Padova. For those of us who are from Italy, you will know where Padova is. Then I was living in Vicenza in Italy. Then she said that she was living in Padova. 
she was living with a white man. Then this white man drove her out of the house, threw her things out. You know, the white man suddenly the white man just you know changed her behavior, his behavior uh, towards her. So this was how this lady was just you know saying saying a lot of stories. I saw her weeping. I saw someone that was in need, out of you know sympathy or empathy. I saw someone that was in need. This was how she told me that she's looking for a place to rent. And I have this room empty in my house. So, you know, seeing her as a sister, you know, from the same country, I was just looking for how, you know, to help her. And uh, being that I was looking for, looking for someone to, to rent that my room to. So I decided to give this room to this lady, not knowing that she was on a mission. She was on a mission. So this was how, you know, she pleaded that she was having 200 euros with her. You know, then we used to collect deposits and one month rent from from, from uh, any, anybody that is renting. We are giving the room out to. So she pleaded that she was having just 200 euros with her and uh, she doesn't have deposits. So out of uh, empathy, I have to, you know, give the room to her. And she promised that she was going to give me the, the deposits in two weeks' time. So this was how I rented the room out to this strange woman who was on assignment in my family. I never knew. So the moment she came into our house, I gave the room to her. Then I began to see strange things, strange behavior. So there was this prayer that we programmed in my family then. Her and my husband. I, we draw out a program from Monday to Sunday. We usually pray for, you know, families like we pray for marriages. Like on Monday, let me make for example, on Monday, we bring her, we bring up marriages, families, we pray for them whenever we are having our night, our evening devotions. So like on Tuesday, we bring out the singles, we pray for them. We bring, uh, Wednesday, we bring out all the sick people, we pray for them. We just pray in a round up prayer like that. So the moment this lady came into our home, could you imagine the first thing that happened was that that prayer stopped. How did it stop? My, whenever at times I called my husband, come, let's come and pray. She would say he's tired. At times, he, when, he, when he calls me, I would say I'm tired. Before you knew what is going on, I don't, know, I don't know how to explain it. This was how that prayer died off. So this, this whole thing happened within three weeks. This whole thing happened within three weeks that this lady was in my house. Then the next day of it, the next day of it, because every day is a new chapter. Every day is a new experience, a new, I, I don't know how to explain it. So the next day of it, this lady, what she did was she cooked and gave, gave she cooked a spaghetti, yeah, spaghetti, and gave a portion of it to my daughter, my first daughter. I was in the bathroom, you know, uh, doing some housework. And, and, and I, I was not aware. She gave some portion of that spaghetti to my daughter in the kitchen. Before I could know what was going on, she came to me and said that, eh, Mama, 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 please come and see what is going on. I said, what is that? She said that she gave uh, some food that she cooked, spaghetti. I'm, I'm going to talk about spaghetti in the dream. For some of us that, you know, dream and you see yourself eating spaghetti in the dream. I, I will talk about it, not in this video, maybe in any of my videos. So this was how this lady cooked, uh, uh, gave this spaghetti to my daughter. And the moment she gave it to her, my daughter, my first daughter, took this the plate, both the plate and the spaghetti, went to the balcony of the house and threw it off from the balcony. We were living in, in first floor then. So he, my, she threw everything off down to the balcony and the, break, the broken plate, everything broke into pieces. Everything, you know, she, she threw everything on the floor. This lady came to me. She was telling me all this. So I went to the kitchen, looked down to the balcony, and I saw the plates, the plates on the floor, everything on the floor. She was saying that uh, she gave my daughter food. My daughter threw, uh, threw, threw it away. So I stood and I began to meditate. I said, this is my first child. 
She's a, she's a child that, you know, always welcome everyone. At times when I have visitors in my house, maybe for close relative, uh, relatives or friends, she always want, she, she will even want to go, that is follow them home whenever they, were, they are leaving. She is the type that always welcome everyone. But I began to meditate that I was like, there is something wrong because this child has a open hand. Why is it that this lady gave her food to eat and she took everything and threw it away? So, and I will use wisdom and told the lady, I said, please, you know, my daughter, she always take feed the bottle because my daughter was the type that, you know, usually take uh, feed the bottle. She loved uh, taking feed the bottle more than any other thing. So this was how Anna told the lady, I said, please, or, uh, don't give her any food to eat again. She doesn't like eating uh, our food that much. She will always take feeding bottle. This was how I went back to what I was doing. Then every now and then, this lady and my, this, my first daughter, they have just like cut a rat in the house. Every now and then, my daughter will be telling her, Angela, her name is Angela. She will say, Angela, you are leaving this house tonight. Angela, get out of our house. Get out. Get out. Angela, get out. You know, I will be telling my daughter, I will say, go inside. What is wrong with you? Go inside. So I will be calling her name. I will say, go inside. What is wrong with you? I will be, you know, begging and pleading, the, the, telling the lady that, please, you know, she's a, she's a little child. Just please uh, pardon her. But... There was, there, all these strange things begin to, you know, go on in my house. There was another faithful day. One of my uh, family uh, 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 relative came to visit me in the house. So we were in the, in the in my city room that day. We were in my city room. This lady was in the kitchen cooking. While she was cooking, after she finished cooking, it was rice. She was cooking. Then uh, after she, she finished cooking, she now came to us. She said, Mama, I have uh, cooked uh, jollof rice. Uh, please, I left your I left I left part of it for you, for you, for you. So and I said, Okay, thank you very much. Don't worry, when I finish what I'm doing, I will go and have some from it to eat. So this, this was how this lady left the house. So when she left the house, then I now called this my relative and i said please carry that food carry that food eh i said tie it pour it inside the inside the nylon bag tie it and put it inside the bin there is something strange about this lady i i can't i can't tell i can feel it in my spirit that there is something strange about her i can't i don't want to eat anything from her so i said please carry that food put it in the bin wash the pot Keep that pot in the kitchen. Let it look like we ate the food. So this was how this my uh, this this my this person that this my person you know went to the kitchen, did exactly what I told her, and put everything in the bin, washed the pot, and you know kept it in the kitchen. So could you imagine the moment this lady entered the house? The moment she came back and she entered the house, she the first thing she said was. You did not, yeah, you, you did not eat the food. I was like, ah, I looked at the person that was sitting beside me. She looked at me. You know, we were shocked. So I was like, how do you know that I did not eat the food? How do you know? I said, go and check the kitchen. Have, have you even entered the kitchen? Go and check the kitchen and see if we did not eat it. She said, she not said that she knew that we didn't eat it. She knew that we didn't eat it. She, she didn't even go to the kitchen. She just, you know, Said, said so that she knew that we didn't eat it. So from that very moment, that was when I knew that there is something about this lady. And I told my, this my very person that was with me in the city room that they have been saying that there is something about this lady, that there is something about her. So I now doubled my prayers. Then I told my pastor then, I said, there is a lady I put in my house. Look at what and what I am experiencing in the house. This my pastor that told me that, can you invite her to the church? Invite, invite her to the church. So let me uh, let's see if she will come, if she if she will come with you to the church. Could you imagine whenever I am talking to this lady about church, about God, about about anything that has to do with 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 with, uh, with, with the Bible, she doesn't show show interest. Then there was another faithful day again. My daughter 
every now and then she is always you know at the, she's always after this lady she will always say angela you will leave this house angela you will leave this house there was a day my daughter entered her room i wasn't i was i was in the city room she entered her room she scattered everything that was in the lady's room she scattered everything. She carried that is poor water, cork, anything that she saw in the room of that lady. She scattered and, 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 and you know, messed up the whole room. My daughter was very angry. I couldn't understood. I couldn't understood that then. Then she, this lady came to me again and said, Mama, come and see what your daughter did in my room. I came to her room. Everywhere was in a mess. She scattered. My daughter scattered everything in her room. And my daughter was telling her, Angela, you must leave this house. Angela, you must leave this house. I didn't know what was going on. And then, another, another incident that happened again was one fateful day I entered her room. The moment I entered her room, on, on, on her walls, the walls in her room, she posted, she, she posted in a, this uh, image of Mary, the mother of Jesus. She pasted it on all the walls. You know this image that we see that they, they portray as the more as the picture of the of uh, the mother of Jesus. She pasted all this image on the wall of her room. So something just led me to her room that day. Then at that call, I said, Why did you paste all these pictures on your wall? On the wall of your room? She not told me, she said that she's praying through that picture, that she's praying through that picture. And I said, No. That, that she prayed to that preacher to 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 to, to Jesus, and I told her, I said no. I said this image, this this woman on this picture was, you know, was privileged to be used by God. She was not the only virgin then, at a time. She was only privileged to be used by God, just like. Anyone can be privileged to be used by God. You don't pray through her. You pray in the name of Jesus. Because Jesus was the one who paid the sacrifice on the cross of Calvary to set us free. You know, I was just, you know, preaching to this lady, not knowing that that uh, she have a motive of, of pasting all those pictures on the wall. Then, after I finish, you know, uh, having this ministration with her, I left her. Could you imagine in the middle of the night? This this is what I, I also want us to, you know, get some 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 informations of how the enemy operates. In the middle of the night, do you know that I was in a dream? I was in, I was in a dream. In that dream, I saw a naked strange man, a man that was naked. So, in that dream, I saw a naked man. Naked. So, I turned off my face. I said, no, I can't. I don't have to see the, the nakedness of another man. I turned off my face in that dream. Then, this was how I woke up from that dream. This is the only thing I could remember. Then, and then, do you know that most people that used to have affairs, have sex in the dream. There is more to it. Whenever you see yourself having sex in the dream, at times the devil might bring the face of your husband, the face of your wife to have sex with you in the dream. If you wake up from that dream, make sure you put yourself in fasting and prayer. Jesus said that this cannot be moved. There are some mountains that need prayers, that need fasting. It cannot be moved unless with fasting and prayer. When you see yourself in a dream, you are having sex. The devil has deposited some elements in your body. You need to pray it out. You need to you, you need to pray it out. If 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 you if you look at it or you just look at it as a, as a nothing, you wave it out of your mind. Before you knew it, the devil will begin to carry out their head in your life. So please, if you see yourself have, having sex in the dream. It is not ordinary. The devil have deposited something inside of you. So, this was what I saw in that dream. Like I said earlier on, a naked person. And uh, I turned my face off. I said, no, I can't. I, I don't have to see the nakedness of 
a, 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 a another man then so the next day of it the next day of it i was in in the kitchen i was in the kitchen a, a lot of things happened that i can't even remember remember now that day i was in the kitchen cooking this lady came to me she said to me she said mama please that is, that is how she used to call me mama uh, please uh, there is something that is uh, going on in my life. I don't understand. Whenever I'm walking, the moon will be following me. The sun will be following me. She, she, she was not inviting me to come along with her, to come and see what she's talking about. See, so she now asked me to come along with her. She wants to show, show it to me. I was following this lady. You know, we went outside. Inside of me, I was praying. I was praying inside of me. Then I followed her. Then we, 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 when we got outside, this lady was this lady was telling me. She said, hey, "Can't you see it? The, the sun is following me. Can't you see it?" I look around. I said, "I can't see anything. The only thing I can see is the beauty of the things that God has created, because the head is the Lord and the fullness thereof. I can't see anything." So she she was like, "Can't you see it? Can't you see the thing that is following me? The sun is following me. The moon is following me." I was like, "I can't see anything. The the the, the things that God has created." This is the only thing I can see, the wonderful works of God. That is the only, thing I, the only thing I'm seeing. And I turned back and went inside my house and I began to pray. I was pleading the blood of Jesus Christ. I, at the moment I entered, I began to pray. I was praying, I prayed. I said, God, whatsoever thing that is, that is, that is wrong or, or, or whatever that I don't understand about this scale, oh Lord, please reveal it to me. Let me know, Jehovah El Shaddai. I began to pray. I prayed and I... So... After some days, I was in the bed, bathroom that day. My husband went, you know, went went to, to work. Then I was in the bathroom. I was washing my children's clothes. I was carrying my little girl, my second daughter. I backed her at my back. Then my, my first daughter was in the city room, you know, watching television. Then I was in the bathroom that day. This lady was calling on me. She said, Mama, uh, I, please... There is something I want to share with you. I said, what is that? I said, she said, I should please come. That is something she wants to share with me. I didn't want to, you know, uh, listen to her or even, you know, attend to, to what she have. She have. Then I just wanted to, you know, ignore her. Then she kept calling on me. So I said, okay, let me go and answer this lady. I went to, I went to the entrance of her room. I stood at the entrance of her room. Then she asked me to come in, and I said, "Okay." She 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 gave me a seat. I sat at the entrance of her room. She now asked me to sit down, and I sat down. She now said that uh, there is something she wants to share with me. That uh, there is this man. This was how the confession started. This was how she started confessing to me. After much battles, if you could understand how I've been relating a lot of things that have happened in my house so she now began because because she couldn't succeed then she now began to you know tell me uh what that is the a mission in my house she said that there is this uh, man in her life the man doesn't want to let her go the man is uh, always disturbing her uh, the man wants to frustrate her life i was that i now asked her i said who is this man the, she now explained, she now described the man, the kind of person that she is talking about. She now said, she now, she now said that, uh, hope I, uh, if, uh, I hope I, I know the kind of, uh, uh, the kind of chair that the, our king used to sit in, in, uh, in our, in, in, in Benin. And I said, yes. He said, that is the kind of chair that, uh, she, she was using that kind of chair to describe the chair that this man is sitting she now said that that is the kind of chair the man is sitting. So something now told me that this is this is a mission from the marine world. I just got that you know that 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 that, that feeling that strong feeling in me that there is something about this lady, and 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 she's exposing it right in front of me now. So the lady now said that uh, she was eleven months old. When this man started visiting her. So when I paused her, I said, wait, you said 11 months old. How do you know about it? 11 months old child. I was, you know, thinking about it. I said, 11 months old. How do you 
come to know about it. She now said that, she now said that, I know, mama, I know. This man used to visit me. The man will come through the wall. At times he come, she, he come, he come anyhow he wants to come. He comes to visit me. Then the, he now also, she now also said that, that she remember when her mother died. When her mother died, this man came to her, took her to Benin, because she's from Edo State. The man took her to Edo State and took her to, to where uh, uh, to, to where they buried her mother and the man took something from her mother's grave took something from her mother's grave so I was trying to stop I said wait wait uh, let me call my pastor I have always been telling you that you need deliverance you need prayers he, uh, because I was trying to stop her because this time around of a truth I wasn't myself I wasn't myself because I just saw I, 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 I don't know how to explain it I was trying to stop her to, to see how to come out from her room. Then she, she was she was she was she, she, she was telling me that, that, that she had more things to tell me. Then she now she now continued. She now said to me, she said, Can't you see that the light is no longer shiny? The light is no longer shiny. And I said, What do you mean? She said that, uh, that uh, the very day she came to my house, the very first day she set her eyes on me. If I could remember, she was telling me if I could remember the very day she came to my house, that the moment she saw me, she knew that it was me. That they showed her my picture in Padova. That was how that was what she said. I'm quoting her. She said they showed her my picture in Padova, where she's living in Padova, in Italy in Italy. That the moment she saw me, she knew it was me. And I did that is say I could not get that sense at that very moment or that uh, I don't know how to say it at that very moment to ask her what was the reason why they showed you my picture or what was your mission in my home. I just that that uh, sense, how would I say it just escaped me at that very moment. Then this lady now continued. She now said that can't you see that the light is no longer shining? That the moment she came to my house. This strange man that she that she was she has, she's talking about the man came took the light she did it that was this was how she did it then the man took the light and pulled it down opened the floor and put it inside the floor and closed it so the light is no longer shining so this was how she was demonstrating the light is no longer shining I'm saying it in my in my in my in my, in my dialect so the light is no longer shining. So the moment she said that, this night took me to the prayers I talked, uh, I talked about earlier on that we usually have in our house with my husband. How we, you know, ended that prayer with that, with, I can't even explain how that prayer just, you know, died off. So this lady now still continued that this man is troubling her. She don't, the man wanted to want to give up on her. That the man came last night. And I said, wait. The man came last night in, in this house. I, I, this house. He said, she said, yes, the man came last night. The moment the man entered my room, said the man turned. You see, you remember the picture of Mary Mother, the Mary, the Mary, the mother of Jesus I was talking about. She said that the moment the man entered her room, the man turned those pictures into snakes. So she said the man turned those pictures into snakes. Then the man said that that he wants to lie with her with her. That, she, that he wants to lie with her. She told the man that she's tired, that she's weak, that she's tired. So the man got angry. So the man now began to move from house to house, house to house. If you could remember, I talked about a dream I had. I saw the nakedness of a man in a dream. That was what happened that night in my house. So the man, so, so he said, she now said that the man began to move from house to house, and any house the man enter, even if the man that that is even if a uh, the woman is sleeping with her husband in the on the bed, the man will sleep that woman have sex with the woman. The man was going from any house from house to house having sex with any woman that he meets. This is why I said that if you have any revelation or any dream. You saw yourself having 
says in the dream. Know that it calls for prayer. Don't joke with it. Don't joke with it. It calls for prayer. The devil has deposited something inside of you. It calls for prayer. Pray it out. Once you wake up and go into fasting, put yourself into fasting and make sure that you pray it out. You will lift up your body, your all your organs into the hand of God. Anything that the enemy has deposited in your body, pray it out. Let them fizzle out in seven ways. They came in one way, they will fizzle out in seven ways. This was what the lady told me, that the man began to move from house to house, sleeping with women on the bed. Anybody he meets on the bed, whether the person is lying on the bed with her husband, he will sleep with them. This time around, my, my beloved, I wasn't myself. Of a truth, to be honest with you, I wasn't myself. I was shaking. I was shaking. I remember I said that I was carrying my baby at my back. I was shaking. I was wanting to, you know, I was looking for a way to escape from her room. I was all alone in the house. My husband was in her home. Then, so, I was, so, so, and I told her, I said, Angela, you need prayers. This is what I'll, I'll be telling you about. You need deliverance. You need deliverance. Let me take you to my pastor. Let me take you to my pastor. You need deliverance. She said, no, I should forget about that. I should forget about that. So I was not, I, I was, I was now having a credit on my phone because I was wanting to call, at least to reach, to call my husband or even my pastor then. I, I didn't have credit on my phone. So, and I, and I asked, I said, please give me your phone to make a call. Let me call my pastor. The moment she gave me her phone, of the truth, the moment she gave me her phone, the phone that she has been using be, before she, she invited me to her room, I heard when she was using that phone to play music in her room. The moment she gave me her phone, the phone, I hope, uh, the phone became blank. I tried to, you know, on the phone. Everything was blank. I couldn't on that phone. I could not on that phone. Everything was blank. Then she, she got angry. I don't know this kind of, I don't know how to expl explain it. She now began to behave like someone that was was not was not on on her right senses anymore. She was saying that, "Can you see? Can you can, uh, can you see now? Can you see now, Mama? It's not this. It's, you know, it's not this phone I've been using since. It's not this phone I've been playing music with since. Can you see? This is how this man is destroying my life. This is how this man wants to destroy my life. It, it, the man doesn't want to let me be. He doesn't want to leave me. Look, look at this phone. Look at it now. She was showing me the right in my very open two eyes. I saw this phone blank." I tried to hone it myself. Hone it, press and press and press. The phone could not hone. I was shaking. I was shaking. So this was how she was. She was just, she, she, she was just talking, talking different, different kind of things. I myself, I wasn't myself. She just walked out of the house. Out of the house. I quickly ran. I used uh, my husband's money, uh, the, credit, the credit on her phone. So that there is a way we used to dial uh, 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 numbers. Then, if you don't have credit on your in, on your phone, there's a way you would you would dial someone's number and use the person's credit to to talk to the person. That was how I did it. I now used my husband's credit and called my husband. I said, "Please, where are you? Come home. Come home fast, please." He was like, "What is going on?" I said, "Please come home. My eyes have seen my ears. Please be coming home." I said, "Angela has been saying a lot of things." That I cannot even explain now. As I'm talking to you, my body is shaking. Please come home. So my that was this was how my husband he later came home. And I also called my uh, pastor then. And I said, please, sir, that what I'll be telling you about about this lady. Look at what she has been saying. I went out to the pastor. I said, This lady is not going to sleep in my house this night. I am going to send her packing. I cannot he can, he, she cannot sleep in this house in the next. If that is if this night, I will just you know I don't know how to explain it. It seems just so somehow because it's just uh, coming fresh in my heart again. I, the person that told me say 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 sweet, don't try to send her packing. Leave her. She's going to pack by herself. And I say don't send her packing. Don't send. Don't 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 throw her things out of your house. If you throw her things out of your house. 
They might come back for you. He said, leave her. She is going to pack her things by herself. What you need, what you need to be doing now is to, you, if you are praying once a day before, you have to double it. This was how every night, every now and then, I enter into fasting. I don't sleep again in my house. I began to pray. Every, I will be waiting for 12 o'clock to click. I will be waiting. At times, she will leave the house. So, be, I will be in my city room. In my city room, before I will leave, someone will be opening the door. 12 o'clock midnight, she's opening the door. She wants to sneak inside the house. When she's coming, she meets me praying. She meets me praying. At times, 1 o'clock midnight, she's sneaking to come into the house. When she's coming, she, she, she's coming, she said that she's coming into the atmosphere of prayer. This was how before I knew it, this lady packed her things and left my house. The next time I met her, I met her. That is, she was looking like someone that is that is, that is not that, that, that is not uh, normal. I met her. I don't know how to explain it. She was looking like a mad woman. Since that experience, we decided never to rent our room out again because of this experience. We vowed never to rent out our room to strangers again. Because I look at my children, I say, God, these children are so precious to me. What amount of money that someone will give to me, 200 euros, that you will come and destroy the life of the, 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 an innocent child I don't know a mission. So this was my experience. Please, if you have children in your home, be very careful. My case might be different. There are some that put people, strangers in their home. You have guests in the home. These people will take advantage of them. They will defy those children. And that stigma will remain with that child all the rest of their life. It might not be that the person you are putting in your house is a possessed person. That person might have some kind of spirit. The person might be someone that, you know, will come into your home, teach your child or your children things that you cannot even uh, you can't even explain. So we need to be very, very careful of who we put in our house. For those people who are renting their rooms out to strangers, be watchful. The Bible says we should always wash and pray. As you are praying, always wash with your two eyes. Don't use your children in exchange for the stipend that the stranger is going to give to you. Let's be careful. If you are a couple that, you know, there is no children yet, it is well understandable. You can know how to, you know, manage yourself, take care of yourself, control yourself, be careful with yourself, but when children are evolved, be very, very careful. Let us be very, very careful. Money is not everything. When the enemy coin come into your home, destroy that precious gift that the Lord has given unto you, and they will go their way. You will be the one that will suffer it at the end of the day. Let us be careful. God bless you. Everlasting Father, I thank you for this video. Lord, any power that will rise against this video, Father King of Glory, they will rise in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. Because for this reason you came, Lord Jesus, that the works of the enemy might be, might be exposed. Oh Lord and my God, continue to open our eyes to see every area that the enemy are operating against us in Jesus' mighty name. I have prayed. Amen. Thank you once again 
until I will come your way again and remain my humble self, Sister Sweet Bensi. Bye. In praise to serve Jesus, I speak from my heart.